Is there something you want to get better at? Are you willing to take action to get better at it? I'm not going to tell you there's a hack for getting better at something without actually working for it because there isn't. What I do have for you in this video is a four step process that will lay down a simple framework and get you on the right track. And by the end of this video, you will be equipped to take on whatever it is that you want to be better at. Hi guys, my name is Yash. My goal is to help you level up in life and become a better version of yourself. Step number 1. Identify the right people. Who do you have to choose? Why do you have to choose them? Let's get to it. The people you're choosing should be individuals with a solid proven background and experience in the area you're interested in. Suppose you want to learn about entrepreneurship. Who would be the right person to learn from? A successful entrepreneur. These should be people you know, maybe directly or through someone else. But make sure you can reach out to them. Step number 2. Ask for their advice. I have already made a video on the magic of asking for advice. You can watch that video after this one. It'll be linked here. We don't know everything. So in order to gain anything from what we ask, we must have an open mind. We have to listen, not just hear or watch, but listen and understand. Now what you have to do is go to these people you had chosen in the first step and ask them for advice. Ask them about the failures they have faced. Ask them for tips so that you don't make those same mistakes. And also ask them for general advice on how you can be better at what you want to be better. Absorb all they have to say like you're a sponge. Take in and hold as much as you can. With this, half of your job is done. Step 3. Put what you learnt into action. This is the step where the successful people get ahead and the unsuccessful ones, they get stuck. Many of us tend to consume a lot of knowledge through books, through videos. But how many of us put what we have learnt into action? Just a handful. That's why I insist you to watch one of my videos, take the required action and then proceed to the next video. The last video I posted was about kindness and how simple acts of kindness can help you live a more fulfilling life. If you haven't watched that yet, you can find the link here. Step number four, be consistent. This is the most critical thing that determines our success. Once you've figured out what you need to do to get better at something, you have to take action on that and consistent action will lead you to success. There are countless people who purchase a gym membership because they are motivated at that moment, but then they typically end up wasting it because that motivation doesn't last. Do you know someone who does that? Are you someone who does that? There are many reasons why people quit, but one of the primary reasons is that the results don't show as fast as they expect it to show. So instead of working harder, we end up not working at all because we don't have that motivation anymore. I have made a whole video about consistency and I have detailed the simple strategies that I use to stay consistent. If you are someone who struggles with consistency, you must watch it. There's this one hack I use all the time to make sure that I am taking action. Because you are still here, I'm gonna give it to you. It's a simple yet extremely effective idea. Whenever I have to do something that I should be doing but I don't feel like it, I just tell myself this simple thing. I just need to take the first step and get started. For example, if I need to go for a run in the morning but I don't feel like it, what do I do? I convince myself to just wear my shoes. Once I have my shoes on, I definitely go for the run. Now you might ask, that's how we get started Yash but how do we stay consistent with it? I have another hack for that and I am going to tell you how exactly I use it. When I'm about to start a challenging workout and my mind is on the verge of convincing me not to do it, I simply say this to myself. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. That releases a lot of pressure of the brain and that works like a charm. And then I do it pretty much perfectly while I'm at it. Our mind is very tricky and it looks for comfort more than growth. We have to fool our minds to get out of our comfort zone so that we can grow. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to make a detailed video on that. I would like to end this video on this note. Remember that learning is only half of the job. We need to put the tips, tricks and advice into action and be consistent to get what we want. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to join me on this journey of self-improvement. Let's level up together.